Oh my god. B? Oh my god, May? Holy shit, it's May! It's me. You came back to life! I don't think she was dead. Pizza party! I'm feeling woozy. You should lie down. You can sleep in our bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Her mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. I sure hope she's alright. Mm hmm. Both of you, shh. So, how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now, since past abilities closed down. I thought you two were trying to save money. What? Pol don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is... safe? I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well, as long as there's a plan. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him! It's the pizza guy! Pizza's here! So, what happened? We called the cops. Your aunt and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma? Did you die? Nah, just took a very long nap. Nice! Uh... Yeah, nice. I had this dream, or like a vision, or I time traveled, I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm just gonna sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. 
Love you too, sweetie. You want a brownie? Nah, I can't really eat right now. Like, I'd puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I'd like puke my actual guts out. Oh, right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. Dude, wild week, huh? You could say that. When we get out of this... I don't know if we're getting out of this. Well, even if we don't... And we're ghosts... We should hang out more. Deal. What even was that game? Werewolf, Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday. At home. Cool. Why is Germ here at all? They've got Wi-Fi! Nice. It's like we're a real place. At least within range. I don't even have a phone because of this place. It's the 1800s here. Hey, May. Yeah. I'm really glad you're not dead. Me too. Yeah. 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 Can we all hit the sack? Cool, I'll be right out. Hey kids, can we do lights out now? I'm gonna drop over. Yeah, dude. Sounds good. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. Yeah, so why are you here? No weirdos are following me around. Oh, right. See ya. Bye, Germ. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? No. We weren't talking then and I thought it'd be weird to bring it up now and... I was playing this video game. You were like dating ghosts or something? Okay. And I was really into it. Played it like 24-7. Until this one afternoon. And suddenly like something broke. Broke? It was just like pixels. The characters on screen, I felt like I knew them. They weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. 
And like that realization, like dumped out of the screen and into real life. Went outside and the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing, just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head and there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes just like this moving bulk of stuff and I cried because nothing was there for me anymore it was all just stuff stuff in the universe just dead Wow, that's... Hmm. And the next day was that softball game. And Andy was the pitcher when I was up. And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote. Like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Oh my god, May! Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. Oh my god, May. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> Have you talked to anyone about this? After it happened, they made me go to therapy. With Dr. Hank. Oh god, he's the worst. And he made me start a journal. A journal? Yeah, he kinda just said it would help to be able to get my thoughts down. Did it help? Kinda? Sorta? But since this whole thing happened, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes, like back at the softball game I was doing fine at college for a while but I couldn't make friends I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone and there was this statue of like the founder of something a really shitty statue like all rusty metal and it was these shapes and he was pointing down at me and I was so scared, I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home, where everything was fine. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez. Something broke in my head, in my life. I don't mean to be like, whatever, but it sounds like you're suffering from some serious stuff. And like, I can help you find some help for it? Dr. Hank already tried. I think Dr. Hank should stick to family medicine and dentistry. And the half dozen other things he does. And maybe leave the mental health services to someone else. Like there are such things as depression and anxiety and like... I don't know, what you're going through, it exists. I, I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And, and, and... Shh. It's gonna be okay. We'll figure this out. I'm so scared. I know, we're all scared. But we're gonna make it. You should get some sleep. I...
Bye, guys. Love you. Okay, where's May going? Find out next time at the exciting conclusion of Night in the Woods. Hey there! Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, and I hope you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also, you can click the nifty looking bell to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Till next time.